Here we go. Fighter enters the cage. Chuck LaMancha versus Seth Patterson in the blue corner. Chuck looks to be a big 147. Very, very. I don't think that's what he weighs now. No, at, at this point, they look the to be about 20 pounds difference. Height discrepancy as well in reach. Dudley, three, three minute rounds, folks. First up, we have for you a 20 year old fighter who stands at five foot nine and weighs 147 pounds. He's making his debut fight appearance and represents American MMA and wrestling at a Heinella, New Jersey. In the blue corner, Seth Patterson. His opponent is a 39-year-old fighter who stands 5'9 and weighs 147 pounds. He is seeking his first MMA win and represents Primal Jim and Ricardo Almeida out of the red corner, Chuck La Mancha. This is Seth's debut fight and from the sounds of it, Chuck's had a few already. Both guys look fairly relaxed. More of a karate stance from Seth. Chuck changing positions with his feet. Nice straight right. Charges him. Look for a knee to the body from Chuck. He's got him press into the corner. Nice knee to the body. There was some snap to it. Pummeling going on for those that don't watch a whole lot of MMA fights. Some of the most intricate things that happen during the fight are those pummel set uh, moments. This is where this is where the fight can be won or lost. Actually, Chuck looks like he's in a wincing in pain here. I think he got hit in the groin. Actually. He may have. He looks like he's wincing. Looks like he's trying to looking up for lock up something. Standing guilty. Look for him to jump guard here. He might. He's gonna press him into the cage. Jump guard. Nice knee to the diaphragm. Seth have, or, uh, Chuck has a very tight grip on that head. Had there been tie knee strikes to the head, this would be a very, very dangerous position for Seth on the cage. It would be. This is where all, so much of the fight is won or lost in these exchanges. It takes a lot of energy to pummel as well. It does. It saps so much out of you. Nice strikes from Chuck. I think it was by Chuck or Charles. The announcer announced him as Chuck, so I apologize, Charles, if I'm saying it wrong. A lot of hand pummeling with Seth. Seth keeping it up against the cage. With these gloves, it's very Look difficult to, to get a choke sunk in, too. Walk him in and lift him. Oh, here he goes. Still got the grip. Once you see him up on his tippy toes. The key in this situation for Seth is to put his hands on the hips of Charles so he can't get lifted off the ground. It's tight, but he looks like he's all right. It's okay. He's got to get out of there, though. Referee warning of some fingers in the gloves. These two are still pummeling. It's tough in one, when you're in the corner like that as well. They're kind of pressed on two sides. Nice reversal by nice, Seth. Very nice. Seth's now. shooting in, looking for the takedown. Looks like Seth's had enough of that. He's got him pressed against the cage. Doesn't want to take any more of those knees of the body. Look for some knees uh, from, coming from Seth. He steps in, he could actually throw him. Uh, that's an easy throw from there as well. Watch him near the body here. Oh. Nice right. Oh. oh, referee jumping in. A little late strike, but not terribly late. When you're caught in the no. heat of the moment like that, sure. Um, split second, it feels like an eternity. Some surprising things. Uh, Seth was actually able to to reverse and put him back up against the cage. Hold him. Here we go to start the second round. Fighters are in their corner. Charles LaMancha in red and Seth Patterson in the blue corner. 
Charles is breathing a little heavy there. Well, I mean, it does take a lot of energy to just the pummel. Yeah. It's hard to throw another human when they don't want you to throw them. Fighters come out, no touch of the gloves. Oh, both throwing good kicks. Seth gets taken to the ground, closes his guard. Look for Charles to posture up and start throwing body strikes. He's in a bad spot, though, being pressed up against a cage like that. Especially in a corner like that. He's got nowhere for his hips to go. If, if you're in the cage and you're getting pressed up into the, uh, into the cage, I'd much rather be against the fence versus in one the of the corners. corners. Yeah. Because then you're, you're restricted on two sides. Looks like he's trying to do a rubber say, guard. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Can't throw any head strikes. So, again, they're limited when they're in these positions. It's keep, tough to keep your guard closed as well with the shin guards. Shin guards, on. yep. Posture. Seth's got to make some space. He's looking for an arm bar from the bottom. Yeah, but it's going to be hard with the cage blocking his hips, like we said. You can walk your feet around on the cage, though. Hey, Chuck, he's not going to do anything if you posture up. He's not doing a damn thing. Here you go. Good job. Now you got to pass his guard. Don't worry about the triangle. Chuck's corner telling him to just do whatever he wants at this point. Back up. Back up. Seth's, oh, gotta Seth's got to make some space. Wall walk. Referee's gonna. Referee's close to standing this back up. Looks like there's a little bit of smothering going on. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Which that seems to be a thing again. In, in, the, in years past, you didn't see a whole lot of smothering, and then no, in, and it came back. Yeah, in recent events, it's made its way back. People are bringing it back like. Uh, same thing with people uh, being pressed up against the cage. Back in the day, that was like the end of the fight. But, and then you saw guys being able to just walk wall walk up the cage with their backs. You don't see it as much anymore. Seth's got kind of a Z guard going right now. He's trying to get his leg back in. Chuck has a, a grip up on the arm. He's either going to come or look for a head and arm choke as soon as uh, Seth pumps his arm up. There he goes. He caught it. It's tough to see what, from where we're at what's actually going on over there, but it looks like Nice knee to the body from Charles. Again. Look for him to do that again. Body's Keep wide open. Right, right there. Keep on. Again. Keep Keep on. Again. He needs again. to switch knees and go with the left knee. His corner's imploring him to knee the body. Again. He is he drilling that again. body. Again. I think he's afraid as soon as he look, look, puts look that leg north back. south choke from here. Look for, oh, he's going to let him up. He's got the arm trap, though. He let the north south go. He's got him in a tough spot. Good recovery. We've got butterfly hooks back both in. Yeah, but he's twisted sideways, so it's real tough to get any movement with that. Chuck getting one last strike in. Looks a, a little job. frustrated, honestly. He looks a little frustrated. Yeah. I mean, like we said in, initially in the first fight is these guys train all day long with the ground strikes and the head strikes. Go third round. Chuck LaMancha versus Seth Peterson. Patterson. Patterson, I'm sorry. Those guys look fairly relaxed. Here we go. Touch gloves. All right, let him go. Let him go. Okay, go get the hands Chuck's corner looking to tell him to let his hands go. Oh, good movement there by Seth. Seth moving around a lot this round. I think he knows he has to. He wants to stay off the cage. Nice oh, and this kick. is exactly what happened the last time. They both threw kicks at the same time, and he got taken down. Seth looking for his rubber guard. Posture. Posture up. Walk your hands back. Walk your hands back. Seth hands back. is actually looking for a triangle from the rubber guard. What he's going to do is he's going to take that left hand up, yeah. connect it to his own foot, which is what he's doing. He's going to he's going to hook that left foot up under or his left hand right up under his right hand. Oh, no, wow. he went for it. He went for it. Got to give him credit. The idea was there. Yeah. He saw it. But unfortunately, I mean, credit since, to Charles. Well. He, yeah, he Charles saw, saw it. Coming. Yeah. Oh. Seth getting back up. If you're Seth right now, don't throw any kicks. Don't throw any, throw any, kicks. Kicks. Don't throw any more kicks. Just throw punches. Throw punches. Here comes Chuck. Oh, inside shin kick. Nice. Shoots in for the takedown. 
Seth throwing heavy body shots. Chuck's got to either finish his takedown or get back to standing. Keep going. Work up. Work up the body. Work up the body. Keep climbing up. Charles looks to be a really strong guy, which means Seth is pretty powerful as well. Yeah, to stop this. Looking right back to standing. Oh, oh. misses with a giant left hook. Body kick. Now he's Seth getting picking his game up. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, no. Low single. A low double, actually. That was a, that was that Very was a hail mary takedown. double. But it was beautiful. It was. Come on, Chuck. That's all hands right behind the knees or behind the feet. Not a whole lot of time left either, so no. if you're Seth, you really got to start pushing for the submission. He's looking for arms again. He's looking for something. He wants that left arm across the one side of the throat. He's trying to he drag trying it across. To, he's looking for that arm bar as well. There you go. There you go. Chuck looking to pass the guard. Look for some heavy body shots. Seth laying flat. He's got to get off, off his back. Yeah, he does. Either stay on your side. Don't stay flat, though. Push him off. Keep working, keep he working, easily keep walked working, into his guard. Push his leg down. He's Pass looking for the triangle. Push the leg down. Pass to your left. There you go. Now press him in the stomach. Make it help. Don't turn your back. Number one rule. Don't give your opponent your back. Underhook his head in first half. Knee. Knee in the stomach. Knee in the stomach. Knee. 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 Now you got 10 seconds on the fight. All you got to do is go crazy. Here we go. Go crazy. Go hit him in the face though. Nice fight by both guys. Yeah, nice fight. If, if you're Seth, uh, I wouldn't be discouraged by this. I wouldn't either. He, he came out, he's a little tender the first two rounds and third do, round. Do from the first round what you did in the third round. And his results in his next fights will be way different. I see this fight going to, to Chuck. He yeah. controlled the fight the first two rounds on the ground. But Seth made it very interesting in the third round. Very interesting in the third round. Uh, I, I was appreciative of some of the going to, to Chuck. He yeah. controlled the fight the first two rounds on the ground. But Seth made it very interesting in the third round. Very interesting in the third round. Uh, I, I was appreciative of some of the techniques Seth was trying to go for from the ground. For and sure. I was, I was very impressed with uh, Chuck's awareness of those positions as well as they were trying to be put on him. There was the uh, rubber guard. To he the ducked that Plata. rubber guard triangle the same way some guys duck a, a, like a left hook. <laughs> <laughs> well, he also uh, ducked the Uma Plata to the go-go Plata. <laughs> yeah. So uh, very impressive with both guys. And, yeah. and, and if you're Seth, you know what? Stay with it, man. For sure. He did a great, fantastic job. Charles as well. Referee's calling both fighters to the center of the ring. For the winner by unanimous decision came out of the red corner, Charles LaMancha. And your winner, Charles LaMancha. Great fight. Our next fight is a welterweight fight, 147 pounds. We have Aram Manokian versus Damian Jaleo. 